When you're creating an end-to-end -end join, you'll want to make sure that you start with tubes whose ends have been trimmed. I'm using inch and a half wide masking tape for this because it makes it a lot easier to connect these. Simply lay your cut tube halfway onto the tape and lay your joining tube on the other side. Now gently roll the two tubes to attach the tape and then roll it all the way in the other direction until the tape is, runs all the way around the two tubes. Now it's really important to note that you don't want to do this type of a join to create an inline join where you need this to be straight and super stiff. If you're looking for that type of a connection, check out the other video in the series. I'm going to be bending these corners to create a triangle and for that this works perfectly. Here's how you connect two tubes that are at an angle to one another. Because I'm creating a triangle here and this is my last corner, I can't line the two ends up straight. I need to handle this a little differently. Apply a piece of tape directly on the top surface of your angled join and then softly wrap it around the sides. It's not going to be perfect, but as long as you're securing everything together, it'll work out just fine. step, make a little snip up through the center of this piece of tape and wrap the ends around each of the tubes. And that's about it. I hope you found this helpful. Happy innovating!